Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul for Saturday, September 23rd. Um, I bought a lot of stuff this day, um, this particular day. Most of it, for all you um, crafty people, if there's any of you still out there that still watch my channel since my channel is pretty much all eBay all the time anymore. Um, if there's any of you out there still watching, you will be completely floored by how much stuff I bought um, and the price I paid for it to resell. It was unbelievable. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. First, I wanted to start with um, actually the second set of sales I went to. I went to the crafty one first because I knew... Um, I'd been to it last year and had really good luck there. So I went there first and then I ended up going all the way across a couple towns, like 30 minutes away to, um, another sale that we have. Um, this one town has a sale that goes up just one particular street. So it's great because it's one straight shot up. We start at one end, you go straight up, you end with like a little flea market at the firehouse. It's quick, it's easy, and it's fun. So that's what I did after I went to that first big sale. So let me show you what I got from there first. Don't really have any stories for you guys today. No, it wasn't a very exciting Saturday. <laughs> so, um, I'll start off with these two mugs. These are two Cheshire Cat mugs from the Disney store. Got these for five dollars for the two of them. Um, probably get ten to twelve a piece on those. Then I got this Radica Sport Bass blah, 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 Bass Fishing <laughs> game. Can you tell this is the first time I've tried to speak so, so far this morning? Um, this is brand new in the package. I paid a buck. I should be able to get about 25 with free shipping. Then at another sale I found The Santa Claus, one of my favorite Christmas movies, at least the first one. The, the second and third are eh, but love the first one. Um, that was one of my favorite, or my late husband's favorite movies when he was sick. Um, we had one of those, I guess, descrambler boxes back in the day when we weren't supposed to. And um, this movie was on all the time. That um, last Christmas he was with us and he would watch this movie over and over and over again because it just, you know, it took his mind off things and made him smile. So this movie will always be very special to me, but I already have my own copy of it. So I will be selling this trilogy um, paid five, should be able to get twenty. Um, plus shipping with that. I think I put it up for twenty two or twenty three. And they're selling selling pretty consistently. Um, got this letter for a dollar. It's on White House stationery. It has the little embossed seal right there. And it's signed Gerald Ford. I do not think this is his original signature. I'm pretty sure it's auto pen. Um, for those of you who don't know what auto pen is, it's like a computerized signature machine that will sign people's names to documents. Anyway, this is something about the SS Mayaguez. And the envelopes here also. So I couldn't pass it up for a buck. I don't know what it's going to do. I might throw it up there for 20 at auction and see what happens. If anybody has any more info for me about stuff like that, let me know because I'm clueless with autograph stuff, especially political things. Um, then I got another set of Warhammer 40K stuff. I've bought this stuff in the past. Um, these are the little plastic figurines, and you're supposed to pop them out of here, glue them together, paint them. It's very meticulous, tedious work, 
um, for those people who want to do it. Um, but these sell pretty well. I think I paid two for this. I should be able to get 20 or 30, I think, on that. And then I got the um, Citadel Hobby Starter Kit, which is the paint set that goes with those um, Warhammer figurines. And it's got everything in it except for the plastic. Um, the plastic glue is empty. But I checked all the paints. The paints are um, all still good. So I paid three, maybe 15 to 20 on that. Then I got two of these Del Toro Quest books because I had originally found, I think I might have showed it in a video. Um, well, I don't know. You, this one might actually go up before the other one does. I think I'm going to mix in some current videos with some of the older ones. Um, <laughs> so I don't feel as guilty that I haven't posted in so long. Anyway, I had picked up some Dragons of Del Toro books at a book sale and was going to sell them on their own and then realized they don't really sell that well by themselves. So I was going to put them in the consignment sale, but then I ended up finding these. This is books uh, one through four and book eight. You can see that. It says eight right there. And then I also last weekend found books five, six, and seven. So I have books one through eight of this, and then I have one through four of Dragons of Del Toro. So I'm going to put all those together, sell them together. I think total cost me $2.75 for all... 12 books and um, hopefully she get 20 to 25 from that then um, actually in a sale on the way home from this little street sale that I went to I found two of these jars of focus wake up there we go two of these jars of Juara the Candle Nut Body Cream. One is full. Neither one of them are sealed. I think that's the full one. Yeah, and that's the one that's not completely full. I did actually weigh them. One weighs like one ounce less than the other one. Um, so I'm going to sell these together. If this, if this was new and sealed, they'd probably go for, I think, an average of like 20 bucks a piece. But I'm going to sell them together and try and get 20 to 30 out of them. I paid 25 cents a jar, so that's nothing. So I'm definitely going to make a profit on those. Then another thing from the street sale was another one of these. I've sold these before. I've showed you guys these before. It's one of those Love and Money loom kits with all these hexagon looms, and they're adjustable. They have all the nuts and screws, and you can put them together in different sizes. It has the shuttle. There's a needle in there. All the instructions. Looks like it's it's never been used. And then there's another little kit that goes with it that I've never seen before to make this little sachet. Picked this up for two bucks, which is great. I think I can get like forty to fifty out of it. People love buying these. There's something about looms and weaving. I don't know what it is, but every loom-related item or weaving-related item I've ever bought does really well. Like those Weave It looms I've showed you guys before, just the simple little square, either plastic or wooden looms that have like the little nails around them. People eat them up like candy. I don't get it. But anyway, um, like I said, paid two bucks. Should be able to make 40 to 50. Very grateful it came in the original box. I don't even have to look for a box for it. And I already have one of these saved in the system. So I just have to bring that old listing up and, um, you know, fix a couple things, edit a couple things, and boom, it's right back up on eBay. And the last thing I bought from that street sale, which was probably my very best purchase there was this set of books. 
I was very excited when I saw them. I was walking across the street and saw them all lined up on a sheet in their yard. And I'm like, oh, are those what I think they are? I got very excited. <clears throat> because they are... Whoops, and there goes the phone. Good job. All right. Um, they are leather bound. And I was hoping when I opened them up, I would see those famous, like, moiré fabric end papers. And I did. And I got very happy. And then I turned the next page and saw that it said Easton Press. Got even happier. Um, and so I picked one up and I asked the lady who was sitting on the porch, she said, how much for the, for the books? And she goes, oh, do you want them all? Because, you know, they're a set. There's 11 of them. They're a set. And I said, okay. Give me the price for all of them. She goes, oh, well, you know, I'd want at least $5. I'm like, $5 for all of them. She's like, yeah. So I'm like, sold. So I got all these for $5. These are the part of the Great Poets Library that Easton Press did. I believe, if I'm correct in my research, they did um, 27 of these in the set. Um, obviously you don't have to buy the whole set. You can pick and choose what you want. There's 11 here. I'm actually not going to sell these as a set. They sell better individually. But I can probably make uh, 20 to 30 per book. So not too shabby for a $5 purchase. Um, let's see, we've got Shelly. Oh, I'll just read them to you. Shelley, Browning, Byron, Burns, Tennyson, Longfellow, Frost, Shakespeare, Coleridge, Eliot, and Wordsworth. So, I will be listing those. The other good thing is, again, these are very easy to list. I already have some Easton Press books saved in my system, so you can pull one of those up, pop one of these babies in there and then all the rest of them will be really easy because I just really have to change the pictures and the titles and it's done. So don't have to do a lot of work listing those which I love. Okay so that was it from the street sale. So obviously like I said before I went to that one I went to this crafty one I was telling you guys about and I went there last year and I don't know if I shared this, I don't even know if I shared this video with you guys yet. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I'm so far behind. I can't believe I'm uploading things from almost a year ago. It's so incredibly sad. Anyway, <laughs> that just means that for you guys who actually want to listen to me, you've got a lot more ahead. So, yay. <laughs> anyway, um... They do this big charity sale every year for juvenile diabetes. And this yard sale, now they call it a rummage sale for charity. It's enormous. It takes up this person's entire yard. And it is the first yard sale slash rummage sale I've ever gone to where they actually have departments. There is a craft department, a linen department, Halloween department, Christmas, housewares, office, um... What else? Baby, art and picture frames. It's absolutely crazy. And somebody has a serious Michaels hookup. And they have it's probably three rows of tables. Um, each row is probably at least six tables long, maybe more. With box upon box upon box upon box of brand spanking new craft stuff. I mean, some of you crafty people that watch my videos would just be dying if you went to this place. Um, needless to say, I do have one little grocery bag full of stuff for myself. <laughs> but don't tell my husband. <laughs> he says I have enough, which I do. I actually have to purge and put a boatload of de-stash videos up on YouTube and get rid of stuff. Um, because I just feel overwhelmed right now by everything. But, um, I'm going to show you guys everything I bought and just let you know. The first day I went there, I paid, I had a bag full and I paid 40 bucks. 
Then the next day I went back because I knew they had a $5 fill a bag deal in their craft section like they did last year. And I filled up two more bags, spent 10 more bucks, and I already made that 10 bucks back because I sold two measly little items, measly little items out of everything that you're going to see and already made that money back and then some. So I will definitely make a profit on all this. Um, I think I averaged, I spent 40 cents an item on Saturday and 6 cents an item on Sunday with all the stuff I bought. So let me stop babbling and actually show you guys what I got. First, this was something I got on Saturday, so this cost me 40 cents. This is the Lisa Pavelka UV light. It's used with some kind of, I know she's a polymer clay artist, so it's used with some kind of resin or something. Um, but these are selling consistently for about 30. And then this is the Bond So Easy. Um, this is for when you have all the panels that you've knitted for something and it's an easy way to apparently join them together. I don't knit or sew, so um, I think I can get about 20 on that. So these two things alone will pay for everything else I'm about to show you. But then like I said, I already sold a couple things already, so I'm already making a profit. So on Sunday, I went for the $5 fill-a-bag sale, and I got all this Heidi Swap stuff. Um, for all you guys who know her stuff, she does that whole marquee love line with the little marquee letters with the bulbs and everything. So I got, I actually got four sets of bulbs, one multicolor, two of the green, one of the red. Then these are all these the Heidi Swap light box inserts. That's her newest thing, I guess, that came out this year. There's a set of, I actually got four sets of these haunted house letters. They're black and orange stripe. Um, the Halloween uh, emoji icons. Got three of those. Then these are the slides that go into the light box. I got, I actually got four of these jack-o'-lantern kits. Sold two of them yesterday for $11.99 a piece with free first class shipping. But that's what you can make with them. But I also got two of these um, Halloween phrase inserts. So I put, I made two lots together with these things. Actually, oh, this is the one that sold. It has to go downstairs. So these are still up on eBay. The other two single jack-o'-lanterns are already gone. And then I got more light box stuff. And like I said, this was all Sunday stuff, so these averaged me, what, six cents a piece. The Heidi Swap, these are the tracks for the light boxes. These are the movie inserts. Celebrate inserts. Be bright, be you. I don't know. Oh, it has all these in it. Love bright best today. Got a bunch of those. And I got what? Two of these. Uh, the phone. Hold on. The telemarketer is driving me crazy. And then this one, welcome fun this way, party. So all those are six cents a piece. And wait, there's more. <laughs> then I also got this whole bag. Got all these resist cards of hers. There's heart shapes, there's butterflies, and there's something else. Oh, just like a label-shaped one. Two of these White Star Lantern kits. And then again, a lot more inserts for the light box. There's candy cane striped letters. This isn't going to focus. There we go. There's this font of letters, whatever you want to call this. 
This is a Halloween countdown, which I have to get listed today. More of the movie night ones. These are all Christmas and holiday icons or just ones you can use in general. These are winter. You get the idea. Plus, um, what, five rolls of the glitter tape. There's, let's see, black and white, red and white, two hot pink glitter, one red glitter. So again, six cents a piece. Sorry for the bag crinkling, guys. All right, and then also, um, in this next bag, I actually got 13 of these We Are Memory Keeper typecast ribbons for their typecast typewriter that's been um, really popular this year. There's a whole bunch of different colors. There's brown and black, white and black, teal and black, silver and black. Let's see, fuchsia and black, red and black. Um, what else? I think that's it. But I got a bunch of repeats, obviously. One cost me six cents because I bought it Sunday. I had missed one, but I picked up all the rest of them on Saturday, so they cost me, what, 40 cents a piece. Then all of these stamps I got on Sunday. Whoops. So these are all six cents a set, and I've kind of put them in bunches already. This is a Hampton Arts outline stamp, I believe. Um, and then these are all those coloring clear stamps that they put out. And I have one batch in there that has all eight sets in it. Yeah, I'm going to sell these in lots because they sell easier that way. But you guys get the idea. So, can't go wrong for six cents a piece. Crazy. I was so excited Saturday and Sunday. You guys should have seen me. It was ridiculous. My husband's like, please tell me you're not keeping all that. <laughs> like, no, I'm not keeping all that. And then on top of that, I got a whole bunch more of these typecast accessories that go with that typewriter, all kinds of labels. There's glassine bags in here. There's, um, yeah, here's the bags. There's big labels, tiny labels, all kinds of stuff. Again, they were all each six cents a piece. Not done yet. One more bag, guys. Okay, here we go. I got all these wooden stamps. These were in their boho or their, what was the other line? Color wash, was that it? I don't know, anyway. Those two lines they have out in spring and summer. Anyway, they sold these with those, so there's a bunch of these wooden stamps that I got on the second day. These were all six cents a piece. And then everything else in here was 40 cents a piece because I bought these on Saturday. I got a Tim Holtz layering stencil. I actually got two of these, one I kept for myself. And then everything else in here, I believe, oh, except for down here at the bottom. I'll show you guys these in a minute. Everything else in here that you see, guys, are Kelly Perky planner stamps, which I believe at Michael's Retailed for $12.99. Obviously, I'm not going to get $12.99 because um, they're not going for that much now, but they're going for more than $0.40, cents, which is great. So, um, whoops, my thing crapped out on me again. Got the vacation set. There is a school set. And I've already, as you can see, organized them by theme. There's the shopping list, general household set, um, this one's called Everyday Clips. Some of these are the stamp and cut ones that come with the dies also. There's labels, there's planner banners, 
with the dies. There's to-do list, stamp and cut with the dies. There is this one. I don't know what this one's called. I gotta find the name of it. But also has these little clips that you can die cut. Um, oh, I think this is actually supposed to go over here. Uh, this is an appointment one with doctor, dentist, pediatrician, all that good stuff. The this is for food and restaurants. This is just basic stuff, trash day, cleaning, bills, all that. There's one with um, travel. I think this is called the adventure set. There's this one, which is occasions with birthdays and anniversaries and all that. This is one for meetings. And it's not going to focus again. Hold on. I get it to focus. There we go. And finally, I think this is the fitness one. Yeah, this is the fitness one. So all of these stamp sets, guys, 40 cents a piece. Oh my God, jump in for joy. I just, I had my big bag with me and I just picked them all up and threw them all in my bag. <laughs> and then I got these two, these all sell separately. This is an Outlines Hampton Art Christmas set. This artsy Stampin' Cut with these little doilies. Two of these artsy religious Christmas sets. Then this is a Dina Wakely set that also comes with stencil. Another one of hers that has faces, which creep me out, so I will not be keeping this. Um, one with stars, it's also Dina Wakely. Another Dina Wakely with hearts. And finally, um, a Diane Reevely Dilusions um, border set with another stencil. So, that's it. Um, all that crafty stuff I just showed you, I paid a total between Saturday and Sunday of 50 bucks. Absolutely friggin' insane. So, can't wait to get that all listed because all these stamp sets are going to be really, really easy. They'll go really quick. So, got a lot of work to do, but it shouldn't take me too, too long. And before I go, I forgot to show you the best thing that I bought at the two rummage sales I went to the day before these sales. Hold on, I gotta grab it. So, I love elves. I have an elf ornament that my family absolutely despises. It's actually just an elf head. He's my favorite. He goes on the tree first. He comes off the tree last. I love him. I have other little elves. My family absolutely can't stand them. And so I found this hat for 50 cents. Take the price tag off at one of the rummage sales. And then I realized he also has batteries. So I had to bring him home and you might wanna lower your volume cause this guy's pretty loud. Um, so I'll show you what it does. I won't play the whole thing, but this will be my Christmas hat and my family was, well they knew I wasn't gonna get rid of it. They knew I wouldn't part with it. Even though I could probably make 20 or $30 off of it. Um, and they're very sad that I'm keeping it. Actually, I think there's plans uh, between all three of them to hide this somewhere so I won't be able to find it at Christmas time. But anyway, my mother has a matching Santa hat, so we will be really annoying to everyone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. <laughs> but it goes on and on and on. <laughs> and sings that song from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. With Hermie and all the elves sing. I don't know if Hermie sings, but the rest of them sing. So anyway, that's it. Um, I have a lot of work to do, obviously. So I'm going to get back to work, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.